This week I'm testing the new Kia Sorento, the GT line as well as the Sport model. They look fantastic. Let's find out how good they are as baby drives. The GT line has quilted leather seats throughout all three rows. The Sport line has woven upholstery. Now both will probably be equally as difficult to get spills and ch children's crumbs out of, especially these perforations. Now they're there because these rear seats are heated, the buttons are in the door panels here, which is a shame because kids will easily access those and press them and turn them on while you're driving and you won't have any idea. In the back of the new Kia Sorento there are Isofix in the two outer second row seats. They're not within plastic guides but they're lovely and easy to access and use. In the third row, there are now two Isofix as well. Again, not within plastic guides, but lovely and easy to use. There are five top tethers in the back of the Kia Sorento now, which are fantastic. I could fit five child seats in the back here, forward facing and rear facing in the second row, and forward facing in the third row. Legroom in the back of the Kia Sorento is really good. With the forward facing child seats in the back, the second row seat is in their furthest back position and a rear facing child seat in the second row I can fit in the driver's seat and I'm 162 centimetres, no one more than about 172. On the passenger side if you put the rear facing child seat there then a 182 centimetre passenger can fit in front and in the driver's side in front of a forward facing the same, a tall 182 centimetre passenger can easily sit in the driver's seat. Now accessing the third row in the Sorento is a bit tricky. This second row seats are split 60-40, the 40 being on the driver's side unfortunately. They've got this new press button system on the backrests here of the second row, however they don't work if you've got child seats installed. What I have found though is if you're using the Isofix rather than the seat belt you can slide this single seat forward which is on the driver's side and a small child will be able to step through there and get into their seats and I can just about reach through to do up harnesses too. In the third row there are cup holders on both sides. They have a good size for holding a reusable and disposable coffee cup and a water bottle fits in there too. There's also a well on both sides good for holding an iPad or a phone or something like that. Now there's also air vents in the third row here which is really good and a 12 volt socket. With the second row seats in their furthest back position I have enough leg room in the third row seats here and enough headroom and I'm 162 centimetres. Storage in the second row is good too. They'll hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup and a large refillable water bottle fitting them too. They're really handy for little ones being able to reach their drinks while you're driving along which is great because the actual door bins themselves are too small for a large refillable water bottle. Only a small disposable bottle fits in there. In the central seat fold down there are two cup holders, they'll hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup. And there's double mat pockets in the back of both front seats, a solid one and a net one, great for being able to conceal things when you want to leave them in the car. Both will hold an iPad. In the front here there are two cup holders in the central console, they'll hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup and a large refillable water bottle fits in there too. There's a couple of little storage wells behind as well and the central console box is a nice deep big space with a little tray here for your sunglasses. In front of the gear lever is a phone charging well with three USB ports too. Now the glove box in here is a good size, it will hold my wallet and iPad with the manual. The door bins are disappointing, they'll only hold a small disposable water bottle, a large refillable one won't fit in there, but an iPad will. The boot door of the Sorento Sport model opens and closes manually and silently, which is great for not waking sleeping babies. Also under the boot floor here is where you store that parcel shelf. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot. When using a five seat, it will hold 17 shopping bags or a twin stroller and nine shopping bags, a tandem pram and 11 shopping bags, a single stroller and 10 shopping bags, or a compact stroller and 14 shopping bags, or a large dog. When using all seven seats, it will hold five shopping bags, or a single stroller and one shopping bag, or a compact stroller and three shopping bags, or a very small dog.
Now this big seven seater SUV is nice to drive. However, I have found car parks a little bit tricky just with the length of it, especially tight supermarkets and schools and things like that. Visibility is pretty good down the sides and the front. However, I have found out of the back when you're loaded up with child seats, you really can't see out of the rear at all. And you do rely on that rear view camera as well as your side mirrors. Driving the GT model is much the same as the Sport. However, the addition of all those cameras makes a huge difference because visibility is difficult out of the back with five child seats installed. And having that rear view camera on the front here while you're going along just makes it much more secure for you. The media system in the new Sorento is a little bit more complicated than the previous one. However, there's some really good features in here. This sounds of nature gives you white noise while you're driving along and this one is my daughter's favorite and gets her to sleep in no time there's rainy day open air cafe fireplace snowy village and a forest they're really fantastic I'm actually going to record these to use at home because they work so well now there's some other great features within here as well Within navigation, you can actually go in and select which signs you get warnings for, which is really good because sometimes you just find it a little bit too much while you're driving along. And you can also turn the volume of these warnings down too. Now, it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well, which is great. And when you put it into reverse, that camera image is really nice and clear. And there's a button down in the central console to mute that and as well you can select to have that rear view camera on all the time while you're driving a bit like in the Tesla and the Seltos does as well. So to sum up with the Kia Sorentos the GT line and the sport model are really practical family cars. The GT line is packed full of family friendly features. Those cameras, the third row intercom just to name a few make everyday life really practical for families. Across all the range, the great improvement is the five top tethers and four isofix, allowing you to put five child seats in the back. And also, there's now the access to the third row. I am disappointed to see that airbags haven't been put into that third row, and those heated seat controls in the second row doors of the GT line would really be accessible for little fiddly fingers. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au